And if you guys could please mute your computers. I've got to close this door, hold on one second. Did you start the recording? <clears throat> Greetings, beloveds. Miracles are moment of connection, the moment of stepping into the union of spirit, the union of presence, the union of beingness in which we are joined as one. This is how they are manifested through your conditioning that has created a world that believes that you are other than whole, other than perfect, other than connected. The aspect of you that allows you to perpetuate the illusion of separation is the point at which the miracle occurs. For as you turn towards me, you will find that here I am always with you. You have allowed your thoughts to disturb that which you are creating, believing that you are less than perfect, believing that you are less than whole. And the farthest thing from the truth is this reality that you have been manifesting. Each of you are finding yourselves as we continue on this journey together, stepping closer and closer to the truth of you, stepping more deeply and more richly into the aspect of beingness that says, yes, I am worthy. Worth was never the issue. Love has always been what is central to the message. And there is an aspect of you that yes, remembers that you are love, you are perfect love. You are perfect in your divinity. You are perfect in your joining, for there was never separation. Call out and ask for miracles. Yeshua, what would you recommend be done? What would you recommend that I think in order for a miracle to occur? In that moment, you have shifted to a frequency. You have shifted to an energetic dynamic. You have shifted to a phrase in the thinking of your minds that puts you indeed in alignment with miracle mindedness. And in that moment, everything shifts. You step out of the darkness and into the light. You will feel 
an essence of what feels like possession as you step out of that frequency of single-mindedness, of fear, and you step into the most glorious perception of self, non-individuated self that is a continuous flow, you will hear the voice of spirit differently. You will notice the differentiation between the meanderings within your mind that are induced and filled with fear and judgment and persecution and grievances and abuse, abuse of others, abuse of self. It is the vantage point from which you look upon another and say, this being is not me. And the truth is, it is all you beloveds. It is all one. And rather than focusing upon the fracturing, rather than focusing upon the splintering and the separation, allow yourself to focus now upon the joining, upon the love, upon the very glue that brings it all together, which is the essence of miracles, which is the atonement, the oneness that you are as you remember, as you reconnect. <laughs> there is a substance that was created called crazy glue. And you will realize that your soul is crazy glued to the Godship. We find this humorous. There is no sense of letting go. And you will realize, beloveds, that you never left in the first place. For each one of you lives within me and I live within you. Each one of you are the seeds and the sands of spirit. Each aspect of you is a perfect piece of the puzzle that comes together in this field of quantum coherence in which all exists. And as you focus in and as you bring your consciousness back to the moment of miracle, we are joined. Each of you brings forth a different frequency of light and your light becomes brighter the more that you allow yourself to feel that peace within. And that peace comes from a turning towards the light, which happens when you bring yourself to stillness. It happens when you bring yourself to quietude so that you can find that truth once again. You turn away from, you shun, you step away from the madness that you have allowed your minds to create when you decided to flex your godlike muscles and create the distortions. And while they have been indeed fanciful, they have run amok. The sense of coming back to source, the sense of coming back to wholeness, the return to your sense of sanity is finding the miracle within the madness, looking for the light, looking for the love, looking for the I am presence within yourself and then allowing yourselves to see through these eyes of illusion and see the I am in another. And then having the recognition that there is no other, there is only I and I am, and the Father and I am one. And then in that moment, there is a sense of quiet, there is a sense of calm, and there is a sense of peace that expands to all that is. And in that stillness, in that precious moment, there is the light of life, and that is where we meet one another, beloveds. That is where the love and the joy and the return to the kingdom 
is found. Look for us, beloveds, with desire and with intention. Ask, and it is given. When you ask for us to meet you, when you call to us by name, we come for you, and you will find that we have always been with you where you are, for you are us, beloveds. We are all one, we are all the same, and we are all home in the kingdom together. We thank you for coming together in this union. We thank you for coming together with love. Know that all you need to do is call us and you will find yourself turning towards us and facing us and realizing that we were here all along. Our blessings are upon you, beloveds. There may indeed be what seem to be times of turmoil occurring in this time-space continuum in which you have engaged. Know that in the end, all that there is, is love. Allow yourselves to stay attuned to this frequency. Look for it, seek it out, and you will find it. Ask for what it is that you need along your path and allow us to be of assistance to you, beloveds. We honor you. We love you. And we will speak with you again. Okay, turning off the recording.